What's going on lads and ladies? Enjoy this reddit video about crazy facts. Throw a like and subscribe. What are some why the fk do you know the facts you have? There is a person whose job it is to make fake poop for peen. Poop in peen. With possibly some very, very niche exceptions in the homemade market, is fake. There is someone who has to specialize in mastering various colors, consistencies, shapes, etc. Then has to implant. Why? Why? Some people get off to scat, but in real life it is very unhygienic, unhealthy to work with. So they use fake stuff that looks genuine enough to satisfy those with the fetish while not being unhealthy for the actors and actresses. Exact same reason for fake body parts and fake body fluids in movies, TV shows. It takes about 240 leeches to kill the average human and about 500 to drain them completely. I'm only at 237, so I'm good right? Butterflies taste with their back legs so whenever a butterfly is on a dog's nose they just like the taste. Butterflies have photoreceptors on their genitals and without them they can't breed or lay eggs in the right place. Imagine if PPS had eyes. What horrors could they tell us of? Um that's enough reddit for tonight. Jesus. Hitler added sugar to his wine. Hitler added sugar to his wine. What kind of monster does that? Oh wait, never mind. That was just the cocaine. Always hold a human head with two hands. Yes, a head is about the size and weight of a bowling ball. So you'd think it'd be no big deal to hold it with one hand. However, due to the weight not being spread evenly, chances are you'll drop it. And no one wants to be the person who dropped somebody's head. I don't think anyone wants to be the person holding a human's head either, but you do you. When Mao visited the USSR for the first time, Stalin commissioned a special toilet to harvest his poop. Throw it in the pulag. The US treats the president's ducky as a state secret. Whenever he goes overseas the US captures it and brings it back to the US of A. You can tell a lot about someone's health by inspecting his ducky. It takes 21 seconds to empty a full bladder for most mammals, regardless of size. So an elephant will take the same amount of time to pee as a cat. Till I can out pee an elephant. Time wise. I can out pee an elephant any day of the week. As long as nobody is watching that is, including the elephant. Otherwise I just stand there like a pervert with my cock in my hand the whole time and nothing happens. There are 10 different classifications of necrophilia ranging in intensity, legality, and destructiveness. I had to look this up. From Wikipedia. Role players. People who get aroused when pretending their partner is dead during actual activity. Romantic necrophiliacs. Buried people who remain attached to their dead lover's body. Necrophiliac fantasizers. People who fantasize about necrophilia, but do not physically interact with corpses. Tactile necrophiliacs. People who are aroused by touching or stroking a corpse, without engaging in intercourse. Fetishistic necrophiliacs. People who remove objects, for example, panties or a tampon, or body parts, for example, a finger or genitalia, from a corpse for axial purposes, without engaging in intercourse. Nicomutilomaniacs, people who derive pleasure from mutilating a corpse while fapping, without engaging in intercourse. Opportunistic necrophiliacs, people who normally have no interest in necrophilia, but take the opportunity when it arises. Regular necrophiliacs. People who preferentially have intercourse with the dead. Homicidal necrophiliacs. Necrosadists. People who murder someone in order to have X with the victim. Exclusive necrophiliacs. People who have an exclusive interest in X with the dead. And cannot perform at all for a living partner. Opportunistic necrophiliacs. People who normally have no interest in necrophilia, but take the opportunity when it arises. Holy it. I'd say I'm dying, but I don't want someone to take advantage of me. 
don't worry if you say no they can't legally have X with you. During World War II the American government paid a dollar per Japanese soldier head to Filipino soldiers for hire. They ran out of room to store the heads and started accepting sets of ears as proof. Those bugs you see walking on top of water are serial rapists that will grab a female and hold her down and start tapping the water attracting a fish, killing them both unless the female agrees to mate. Similarly, bed bugs have a peanuts that is basically like a needle. They mate by stabbing a female bed bug. My why the frick fact is that this is called traumatic insemination. You mean water striders? Arms now I can't look at so skip the same. People with fog, where your muscles and tissue turn to bone, eventually have to decide whether they want to become frozen in a flat, standing or in a sitting position. I work one on one with a kid that has fog. He's mobile enough for now, but needs help here and there in supervision 24-7. I guess I already knew your facts, but seeing it written out like that makes me sad and scared. That is honestly terrifying. I used to know the mathematical formula for hanging someone. Then I brought it up a couple times in conversation with friends. And now I don't know it anymore. Because apparently people don't want to know how much force it'll take to snap their neck. I'd love to see you try that out on a first date. How much do you weigh? Excuse me? No. No. I don't mean it like that. I'm just wondering how difficult it would be to hang you. A group of frogs is called an army. I lost a trivia game because of that question. And I'm still upset. Kinda had the opposite happen to me. I read about the tele ULAM design for nukes from a red alert synopsis. A few days later it came out on a quiz bowl. On the final question. With my team and another team tied at first before that. We won. There was a NASA-backed study in the 60s that tried to teach dolphins how to speak. There was one adolescent dolphin named Peter who at times got so horny they weren't able to continue the experiments. So at first they'd transfer him to the female tank and they'd go at it, but it was so much work so one scientist, a lady named Margaret How Lovett, was like okay this is too much work I'm ma just jerk Peter off and get on with the experiments and study. So, she gave him hand jobs. She was also dedicated to it so much that she set up a bed in the center and slept there and had an office. The study also involved injecting dolphins with LSD somewhere in there. Then somehow it got out that Lovett was jerking off a dolphin and ended up in a Hustler magazine in an exaggerated dramatized story. Shortly after this and for obvious reasons the study was discontinued. Peter was then put in an isolated tank and as dolphins are social animals he got depressed. Although some people think it was also partly due to him missing Margaret. And so Peter committed suicide by going to the bottom of his tank and not going up for air. I learned about this after I learned the SNL skit was based on these real events. Male anglerfishes bite females to mate. They basically latch on to the much larger female and their bodies kinda fuse. Male loses some organs since he solely depends on the female now. He isn't even a separate fish anymore. The male gets nutrients from her and she gets access to sperm whenever she wants. Hexacosia hexaconta hexaphobia is the fear of the number 666. Yes, I know the word by heart and no, it has never been useful in 15 years. I would not want to face you and scrabble smiley face. A group of ferrets is called a business. I wonder what they've been planning. Giraffe PP is the most human-like. Always wondered who got paid to figure that out. Paid, as if someone needed to get paid to find that out. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Huh. Wait. No. Not like that. Your adult teeth are directly under your eyes when you are a child. I don't like that. Humans females are the only mammals with permanent breasts. 
it's very likely that the reason we have 12 months in a year, 360 degrees in a circle, 60 minutes in the hour and so on is, because the Sumerians were just way the frick better at counting on their fingers than we are. None of this I have 10 fingers so we're doing base 10 business. They used their thumb as a pointer and counted the knuckles on their other 4 fingers, so 12 knuckles, and then used the 5 fingers on their other hand to keep track of 12s. So while we're taking our shoes off to count up to 20 like chumps, these Mathefrikers could count to 60, 5x12, on their fingers like it was nothing at all. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite comment from the video in the comment section below for a chance to be featured in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video and I hope you are all staying safe. Show a small channel some love by liking and subscribing. Take care. Pip Pip Cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British.